Morning David, before we get into Derby Day on Saturday at Mooney Valley on Friday night, is there a couple of runners to keep an eye on? I'll be looking at Purple Smart, promising young stayer. We were tempted to run in the Lexus, but we'll save those races for next year. Um, and I think Schaff in the 9.55 racing for the Jeep, I, I really feel that uh, with the blinkers on, he'll run well, we'll freshen him up. Okay, Derby Day at Flemington, of course, on Saturday, race one. We have two runners over the mile, starting with He's Our Rocky, barrier eight, eight to one. Yeah, a little bit of an awkward gait. We'll probably let him relax and be charging home. We've saved him for the race, working well. Flying Light is the other runner in the first. He's 20 to 1. I bet, look, he's great odds, and with the blinkers, uh, I expect a huge improvement. Um, his work in the blinkers has been first class. Race 2, the Wakeful over 2,000. Dawn of Hope has drawn out in 15. She's 15 to 1. Yes, a bit of a common theme, the wide barrier for this meeting. Uh, look, she'll be ridden patiently and produced late. She's on trial for the Oaks. She looks to have a bit of talent as well. We see her working with Al Moonquith uh, here at Euroa. Yes, she's actually shaded our Moonquith at different times and uh, I, I've got no question uh, if she gets her act right and she's not in season on the weekend, she could improve dramatically. Gracious Prospect has also drawn, drawn wide in race three over 1400, barrier 15. Yeah, hard race, uh, but going very well this horse. Um, he'll be an each way chance on the weekend, but that should have him spot on for the final day 1400. Keen Ray takes on the Hot Pot Exosphere in the Coolmore, race four, he's second favourite, 10 to one. Couldn't have this horse better. I think he's ready to run very fast times. And look, we are taking on a champion, but um, our horse is high class. Two runners in the McKinnon, race six over 2,000, starting with extra zero, 20 to one. Just look for him to improve out of sight back to Flemington. I was annoyed with myself for running him at, at Cranburn, just didn't pay, but, but he's in back to his uh, best form now. And Rising Romance was in season and ran a shocker in the Caulfield Cup, but we'll put blinkers on her and she'd be one of my long shot best chances for the weekend. She's 20 to 1 as well. The Group 1 Victoria Derby, race 7 over the 2500. The Inform Extra Choice, drawn out in 17, thanks to Mark Pilkington. Yes, um, I don't think Pilk had much choice in it. Uh, he was the last one out of the out of the hat, so I'd love to blame him, but I can't. The horse is superb. Um, track work and build up, I couldn't ask for anything better. And if Mellon can ride him as well as he did at Geelong, I'm very confident he could be in the finish. He's 10 to 1. Bullish stock, first emergency. Yes, we hope he gets a run for, for the owners. It'd be a big thrill. And and his, work, his run in the, uh, in the Geelong Derby trial was first class, just didn't have any luck. Stay with me, $4 favourite in the Group 1 mile, race 8 over a mile. Another wide gate in 15, but she looks the horse to beat. Yeah, 49 kilos, probably improved from the... Um, from, from the Guineas win, which was spectacular. Uh, one of the best fillies I've had for a while. Um, we'll be given clear galloping room in the straight, and I'm pretty confident, providing she doesn't get pratted out too wide, that she should be winning. Closing out the day, Derby Day race nine, Churchill Dancer at 10 to one. Never runs badly up the straight. He will appreciate not looking up and seeing Chinaqua, a very competitive race, an each way chance. And your best of the day for Derby Day, David? I like stay with me, and a long shot, rising romance.